Hello. Back again. Uh, yeah. Did I tell you about these chopsticks? Um, how, like, I bought them because, I mean, obviously, I was using, well, I was using, like, a fork, like normal people. Um, but I was watching all these mukbang videos, and, like, I was watching, like, Kimmy and some other people, and Mommy Tang or whatever, and they were using chopsticks, and I just got, like, I'm one of those people that, like, I see something, and then I go get it, like, YouTube made me do it, for real, so I, of course, like an idiot, I went and bought chopsticks, and when, so they were using these stainless steel ones, because in my family, like, when they use chopsticks, it's, like, wooden, you know what I mean, but, like, I think in Korea, because, you know, Mommy Tang and Kimmy are both Korean, I guess they use stainless steel. So I bought them like an idiot, and I was eating something hot, and it freaking burned my mouth. And so now I'm using them to eat salad, because I can't use them for, like, normal shit. Like, I don't know how you cook with these, because they'll fucking burn your hands off. Anyway. So... Now there's my salad chopsticks, because I'm fancy. Um, so, I'm literally, like, super sleepy. Like, I was falling asleep while driving to work. I mean, driving kind of is, makes me want to sleep anyway, because... It's just like, I don't know. It's just like one act, you know what I mean? Like, you're not really thinking, you're just like driving, especially like with long roads and stuff. I think I call it like tunnel vision or whatever. So, like, you're almost in a trance, you know? Um, so already, like, I'm prone to sleeping on the wheel, which, you know, don't let that get around because then I'll get fucking pulled over. Um, but, like, I, I'm so freaking tired, um, that I tried to take this herbal supplement last night to, like, see if it would, he if it would help me fall asleep. It didn't. I'm taking, like, melatonin and this, like, deep, it's called deep sleep I got at Sprouts, like, some, you know, one of those, like, hippie supermarkets. Um, which is basically, like, a poor man's version of Whole Foods. Um, and this lady recommended this thing called deep sleep. It didn't work. I mean, I ended up looking online. It actually has good reviews. But I literally, like, I don't know. Anyways, you don't care about that. I don't even fucking care about that. But the reason... Oh. That... I, like, couldn't sleep... Or, I need to sleep. I feel so tired. It's because the other day... Um, because my life is perfect. Like, around midnight... I hear this, like, drip, drip, drip in the bathroom. I live in the master bedroom, so there's an attached bath. I'm like, what the fuck is that? So I get up, and it's dark, right? I don't have any lights on. I'm just, like, literally surfing the internet. So I go to the bathroom. And I fucking step into, like, a swimming pool. Yeah. 
My fucking bathroom is flooded. Do you know what it's like to walk into a flooded bathroom, you guys? And like, I'm not like super smart. Especially about the house stuff, like, I'm not a handy person. I was like, what the fuck do you do when, like, like, all this water was coming from the toilet, and I hadn't done anything, like, there was no backup or anything, it was just water, and it kept coming out, right? And I'm like, fuck. The first thing I think it was like, get the motherfucking towels, Get them on the fucking floor because it's starting to come from the bathroom into the carp, like to the actual master ba- bedroom. Which, oh my god! So I just pull the towels, and I'm just like, "Fuck! What the fuck is going on?" So then the water is like coming from the toilet bowl. And again, it's like clear water, right? Like, because I, I didn't use the bathroom. And so I'm like, oh, fuck, how do you turn this thing off? There's like a moment where you're like... Kind of calm. A, it's an oh, fuck situation. But it's not like, oh, fuck. You know, not yet. Until I realized I didn't know what to do to stop the water. And then it was like, oh, fuck. You know? It's my fucking life. Salt. You guys know how I feel about salt. If it was a man, I'd probably marry it. Because nobody else would marry me. Not that I want to get married. That seems like a big drag. Anyways. So yeah, like. Then you're like super panicked. Because now it's like you don't know how to fix it. Like you don't know how to stop it. So. Luckily. My head was like going a mile, like a mile a minute or a hundred miles a minute or whatever. And I see this like, you know, there's like a valve that connects from the wall to the toilet and it's got like a little turn thing in it. You know, like an idiot. This is probably literally how I, like any person like me reacts to anything. Like just push all the buttons, you know what I mean? Turn all the things. And then so I went to the valve and I'm like, whatever. It's the only thing that looks like I can muck with it, you know? And then I I was freaking turning it and turning it. And it wasn't stopping. Like the water I could still hear. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I ran out of the master bedroom. What were you doing? No, what was I thinking, right? Like, looking back, literally, I was crazy. I had no real thought. Look at this. These dark, leafy pieces. Totally useless. Um. This is my jam. Those crunchy pieces. Yes! Give it to me. Um. But... I realize now, looking back, I raced out of the master bedroom. I didn't know really what what I was doing. But I realized now, I was running out there to find what other valvey things I could push. 
and then like I realized I had no fucking clue what Valvy things like what what am I looking for you know and I'm thinking back to like what I know about home improvement which basically consists of a fucking TV show of the same name in the 90s a lot of you guys are probably too young for to know what the fuck I'm talking about Look it up. It's a good show. Um, to to the host of that show, what's his name? Tim, Tim the Toolman Taylor. I just remember the main water line. Turn off the main water line. What the fuck is the main water line? Where the fuck is it? So then, I run back to the master bedroom, and I don't know why I keep saying master bedroom. My room. I mean, I'm the master of nothing, that's the truth. Um, I'm glad my computer, and I'm Googling it. And honestly, I don't know what the fuck I was Googling. I was just... Googling water, plumbing, plumber, so crazy, and fucking useless in a crisis, apparently, anyways, I guess it takes time for that little valvey thing to work, you know, because then... I went back to the bathroom, and I, the water had stopped coming out. Like, it was now just all over the fucking floor. But, like, it wasn't worse, you know? Thank God. So then I just, like, grabbed more towels and stuff. And I know you guys don't know how old I am, but trust me, I'm old. I'm as old as God. I look young, but I'm an old ass bitch. <clears throat> so me being in my old ass age, what do I do? Right? I call my dad. It's like 1 a.m. now. I call my dad. My dad's like 80 years old, you guys. Do the math. Luckily, homeboy was still up. He was like, hello? And I live near my parents. Like, we're about like 15, 20 minutes away. Because, you know, I'm on my own now. At least you have to be 20 minutes away. My dad, like a champ, he's good in crisis. He dragged my mom out of bed, and then came over. This is when you know you, like, literally love your parents, and, like, as old as I am, and I'm living on my own, you know what I mean, and I have my own bills, and I pay my own bills, You know, I've got a job, blah, blah. I'm functional. Sort of. And so then you realize I still need my mom and dad, like, forever. Mm. Now I used to hate my parents, too. Especially when I was really crazy with my eating stuff. When I was literally obsessed. 
the crazy obsessed. Like, I always just yell at them. Like, every conversation, anytime I was talking to my parents, I'd just be yelling at them. Because, you know, you don't want them to fuck with your business. You don't want them to, like, you just want to leave them to leave you alone. Right? Because you want to get romantic with your eating disorder. It's just you and your eating disorder. I know those of you watching are like, oh, so glamorous. Having an eating disorder. Clearly, I'm the poster child for all the glamour that there is. My Vogue worthy face, you know? <laughs> 